Yeah, two minute condos of peace. I wanted to say, uh, got the hat yesterday. As you can see it, you specially made uh, Kemet Ray Ma'at, which means Black Sun Justice. So I want to thank you for that. And uh, my wife, she wanted to say something too. My hat was specially made as well, and it means first to step out of the waters of noon. And I want to say thank you to my art forever. Very nice. Our sister RP is in the place to be. What's up, sister? Uh, E.T. Sen E. How you doing? E.T. Sen E. I'm doing Nefer. Oh, great, great. Um... Well, I got it today. I, I was thinking it was coming from France, but then I did the tracking and it was outside actually when I went to check and here it is. Oh, that's what's up. It's just like my hat. That's what's up. Yeah. Let me, let me do the, 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 the solo layout. There it is, brothers and sisters. That's yeah. what's up. I really like this. Yeah, so I um I have an after school program that I um help facilitate. And I'm going to wear this because we're going to start talking about coding. So okay. I'm going to use this as an introduction because this is a code. It's mm. ancient code, but it's still a code. And then we're going to be able to, you know, I'll be able to demonstrate to them the meanings inside each of the, you know, glyphs and stuff. So, but yeah, I was looking online and I was like, this is actually like really good designs, you know. <laughs> so as soon as I get some more. Uh, you know, extra money. I'm gonna get the matching hat, and I want to get a Maat shirt. But I, I really like the uh, Kemet one uh, to start with. Yeah, so it's really good, and and the prices ain't ain't bad either. So, and sister Andrea Brunet is in the place to be. How you doing, Senate? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. So you have something to show us today? <laughs> Yes, I I went on to the product line and I bought three shirts and I just wanted to show you all what I got. Oh, let's see. Okay, so this is the first one. This is the the onk shirt. The onk shirt. I got it in black and gold, but I think I'm gonna go and get a blue one too. All right. Okay, so that's the first one. All and right. And then the oh, it looks this, good. Yeah, oh, I don't know. Man. Yeah, this is the Maat one. Oh, that's so I don't sad. know if you can see. Yeah, I, we see. I, I'm we trying, see. Can you see it? That nice bright and, color. You know. Yeah, I love this. I love this color. I love it. And then the piece of resistance is my favorite. Oh, one. Nice. <laughs> that's what's up. Oh, that's on the sleeve too. Too. Even on the sleeve. All right. Even on the sleeve. <laughs> <laughs> I had it. Oh, yeah, this God. is this is the lick right here. So I'll be oh. wearing that on your next live. I will have this one on. Oh, yeah. That's oh, wow. So that's Thank that's you. the three ones I got. Thank you Love very them. much for your support. It's appreciated. I'm glad that you like the products. You're welcome. You're welcome. Right. We'll see you on the next live stream. All right. See you soon, sister. Okay. Yes. Oh, All right. All right. Hey, brother Donnie Williams. See, so you got your. Yo, yeah, yeah. What's up, Shaka? I was gonna do just a. I know it's a serious, serious topic, but I was gonna do a little. Uh, oh, I appreciate that, bro. Unboxing. I'm glad. So you I'm know, glad. yeah, yeah. Live yeah, unboxing, dude. bro. You you don't mind if if I use this excerpt, you know, like as a clip? My no, intro? no. Oh, it's all good. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. For those who wonder, I'm gonna share them. Uh -uh. All right, that's lovely. Yeah, I got the I got the Heather Gray. Oh man, I, yeah. Oh, you got the Kemet shirt as well. Okay. Yeah, can you? See? I didn't know it had um that on the back the though. Back. Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. That's what's up, oh, man. Sorry. Oh, thank you. So, Appreciate uh, that. Yeah. So just letting you know, just uh, coming through, uh, showing some support real quick, man. I'm about to uh, get back into this uh, Netflix film, so um, just want to say peace, man, and thanks. Yeah, thanks a lot, brother.
Hotep Senu Hena Senut E. Tiren Ishaka Nugukemet. I hope you're doing well. The title of this last stream is Black Ancient Egyptians from the Tomb of Meseh T. Let me check the sound quality. I'm going to go on mute for a moment. Okay, sounds good on my end. Now, let me see who's in the place to be. It's going to be a, a short live stream, you know. Uh, actually, I uh, I don't think I'm going to share the link to get on the panel today. Um, I almost didn't make the live stream because there's so many times where I felt like addressing something and then I changed my mind. Um, what I'm looking forward to is tomorrow because tomorrow will be 10 working days. Call music was a bit loud on my ear set. Uh, tomorrow will be 10 working days since my appeal has been accepted following these uh, two copyright claims. So, um, probably tomorrow I will be able to make my channel public again, my main channel that is my uh, forever. Uh, if not, it will be uh, uh, Saturday. But anyway, let me see who's in the place to be now. To real, real, it's been a long time. He wrote, Peace, Shaka. I'm locked in, ready to. Uh, see some great info. Don Williams is in the place to be, and he wrote, I thought this was scheduled for the 23rd. Glad to catch this. Isn't it the 23rd today? Oh, no, it's the 22nd. But yeah, indeed, you're correct, uh, Brother Don Williams. I, I actually made a mistake when I prepared the last stream. I did not even um, pick the right date, you know. Uh, I think when you use StreamYard, depends on the time you you go live but he, he may he may just choose uh he may just pick them the next day by default but yes indeed i, I know i was going to go live but anyway e walker is the place to be he wrote in the house now i'm actually a little bit tired but you know i had a med nature class and every time i have a manager manager i'm sorry <laughs> a med nature or hieroglyphic class I'm, I'm usually in a very good mood because i love teaching it so um let's start I'm going to start by showing this here. It's not showing, is it? Hold on. Yes, it is. Okay. Now, this is from uh, Manchester's University. This is the year to um, Certificate of Egyptology article dealing with war and i'm just going to show you the description of this picture okay so if i go down just a little bit there it is you see here middle kingdom soldiers from the tomb of mesehti so that's all i wanted you to see because the rest you know is, is uh you know i don't want to have problems you know <laughs> uh but i will share many many other sources don't worry okay so in the chat uh, i walk a rope great class today brother shaka much appreciated i'm glad that you appreciate it now um so this is the description of the picture that we have seen this is a picture that i've used for the thumbnail of my last stream by the way i, I wanted to say uh, i'm quite happy about uh, what happened yesterday yesterday i made a mistake I share the live stream on the channel that is private, <laughs> you know, but still, you know, there's a hundred uh, views, you know, so it's a good sign, you know what I'm saying? But that being said, I'm going to share now this Wikipedia uh, page. So you have the link in the chat. Okay, so we're going to have a look together. So there it is. Now, Brother Walker, you know about the Uniliterals, and just with the Uniliterals, you can read his name. Now, here, you have the picture of the same Black Ancient Egyptians, just from a different angle quality is not as great as the previous one but you know so let's see what they say about um Meserti.
So it says Messer T was an ancient Egyptian nomarch of the 30th, I'm sorry, the 13th Nomos or Nome. It's supposed to not see Nomos. <laughs> That's probably Greek. Of Upper Egypt, the Upper Sycamore, around 2000 BCE. Haven't you remember me saying that a lot of time the older the artifacts are, then the blacker they look? But anyway, so during the 11th dynasty, he also was a seer bearer and overseer of the priests of Wepwawet. Mesehti is well known for his funerary equipment found in Asyut at the end of the 19th century during an illegal excavation. The content of the tomb, which at the time of the discovery appeared undisturbed, was mainly sold to the Egyptian Museum in Cairo. Among the objects of the funerary equipment, the most famous are the wooden models of soldiers. A group of striding Egyptian spearmen equipped with a hide shield and, and a white skirt. And another group composed of 40 striding Nubian archers, darker skinned and wearing a red loin cloth. The tomb also contained two large wooden coffins, whose interior is richly decorated with coffin texts. These coffins are among the main sources of this type of religious text, which were much used during the first intermediate period in the Middle, Middle Kingdom. So, what's important to take notice of is that in this article it says that we have two groups one group of Egyptian spearmen right and they are equipped with a shield and a white skirt and there's another group of Nubians they even said that they are darker skin and wearing red loin cloth right now for the record in bibliography we have Michael Rice who is in ancient Egypt 1991 uh, 1999 now it says 2004 that number is probably a reprint but anyway page one one 115 so let's have a look So that is page 115 of the uh, aforementioned book. And we are told Meserti Noble, 11th Dynasty, Middle Kingdom, circa 2000 BC, like his near contemporary, I'm sorry, contemporary Meket Re, Meserti had placed in his tomb at Asyut in Middle Egypt a series of lifelike models. The most celebrated of these are two groups of soldiers marching in formation and carrying their weapons. The two groups are indicated as racially distinct, a Nubian formation and a lighter pigmented platoon. Each advances with firm disciplined steps and here says the lighter skinned troops carry shields made from the hides of oryxes. So then he says the same thing we read previously. Meserti was a seer bearer, hence a noble. He was overseer of the priests of Wepwawet, the ancient god of Abydos. So what they are trying to say is that this author is claiming that we have two, uh, how did he word it? two distinct racial groups. Bennett is in the place to be. Walker wrote them. I can actually read his name in hieroglyphs. Thanks for the classes, bro, Shaka. Hey, I'm so glad, brother. I'm so glad, brother. So. <laughs> oh, I did not download the picture. Oh, no. 
what the thing I want. Okay, do it again. Have it on my other computer, so. All right. So here. There it is. So this author believes that we have two racial, two distinct racial groups. Now, do these people look black or not to you, brothers and sisters? <laughs> but it's okay, you know. Now, Young Hero is in the place to be. Tony Williams is congratulating E. Walker. Young Harry Wood, what's up? Shaka just came in. What did I miss? Not much, you know. I just want to show some black ancient Egyptians from the tomb of Meserti because many people have described those people. Uh, th I mean, uh, many people have described those soldiers as Nubians, but we will see the Nubians. Yes, indeed. Just starting. Okay. Here we have a website. Have you been able to extremely black? LOL. <laughs> this is not an official website of the Egyptian Museum. You have the link in the chat here. Egypt-museum.com. Okay. And it says model of Egyptian soldiers. Now, if you wonder about this website, uh, if you go to about, they, they will tell you that they are not an official website and so on, you know, but, you know, you have different sources, you know. Many of you are probably familiar with the website called JSTOR. I'm sharing the link in the chat. Oh, this is too long. Okay, let me delete that. I'm gonna delete that from the chat. Um, snap. Oh, snap. Bothering me here. Okay, there it is. Um, I have to use a link shortener. Shortener. Please, I don't want no account. Okay, link shortener. Okay. There it is. Way shorter. So J store. They're showing those soldiers from the side. Right? But the most important is that it says troop of Egyptian soldiers, not Nubians. Okay? Now I have plenty of uh, other sources. Here's a different link. You have it in the chat right there. Let me close a few pages because be free here. Okay. Now you have the picture here. T 
quantity. Okay. It's the same picture. You even you even have uh, okay you have, you have some links here. Now this is obviously not in color. And same for this one. Now here you have, you can see the two different groups. So the main groups that we were dealing with is the one on the left, and we can see they are carrying shields, and that's what we were told previously. All right. Now what does the discussion says? Well, apparently the description may be from Breasted. Cairo Museum 258, company of 40 spearmen, each with a shield. Let me let me make sure. Is, is, is it sharing? Yes, it is sharing. Each with shield, marching by force. They are later than the group of 40 bowmen. Number two, below. They were short wings, which protect the head. You know what? It's okay. I have so many other links. This one I think has the most pictures. I'm gonna put the link in the chat. There you have it. Now the person that runs this website. I don't know him. The name is Francois Olivier. Now he wrote that he's an Egyptologist. As an Egyptologist and long time book collector, our former assistants, blah blah blah. So I don't know what degree he has, that's what he claimed. But anyway, we have those pictures. So when when you click, there it is. Okay. Now, can I? Yes, you can even go right and you have these other pictures. Now, you see, those are darker skin. Those are the Nubians. And remember what we were told about the lone clone, clone, cloth. And let me double check again that Wikipedia link. Yes, the, the, in the Wikipedia link, I hope it's not going to be too long. Or maybe it's going to be too long. Hold on, I'm going to do that. Good, it fits. So we have a group of striding Egyptian spearmen. And we have another group composed of 40 striding Nubian archers, darker skin and wearing a red loin cloth. And you will see the red in the loin cloth. You see you see it in the back and you will see it in the front as well so those are the Egyptians there it is you see the red here so whenever some people will tell you no 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 no, no you guys are tripping you know those are not Egyptians those are Nubians you can tell them look at the difference so we have plenty of pictures now, if people want to tell me that those are not black, they can be my guest. The, the Nubians are darker, darker skin, you know. Now, I have some other links as well. And then also, you know, you're going to have some books. Danny Williams has put some, um, I cannot really read, but here he wrote Leopard. Then V. Bennett wrote, they're both black. Yes, I agree, they're both black. So you have another link here. You have it in the chat right there. That's what we're looking at right now. Now, this is in French, but it says, soldiers, the Egyptian soldiers, the soldats Egyptian, the Meseti, the, the Egyptian soldiers of Meseti, Prince of Siut. Prince de Suit. So that's that's basically the same picture that we see here. All right. And that this picture is strictly from the front because this one is like you know 
um, a bit diagonal, you know, a little bit. Okay. So we have we have a few different angles. And now here, what does it says in the description? Now once again, this is French. Troupe d'archer Nubian. It means troop of Nubian archers. You see? They are telling us the difference. And you can tell that they are in the dark skin and they have the red coloring around the uh, loin. The loin cloth. Right? And you have uh, several sources here on this link. Now, this, this time we're going to deal with books. Snap. And click again. I'm going to put the title. Now, Young Hero wrote, You can't get blacker, lol. V. Bennett wrote there about Hero Complexion. have the book title first and the link dang let me see no it's too long okay let me delete that i'm gonna do it Okay, there it is. You have the link right here. Now the book title is, if I close, is Ancient Egyptian Warfare. Is it sharing? Yes, it is. By Ian Shaw. Now, some of you may know the book. What, what is the exact title again? Um, it's the blue book cover. Um... escapes me now the Oxford history of ancient Egypt Ian Shaw is a, an editor if I'm not uh, mistaken Ian Shaw is very famous but anyway let me go back and what what are we told in that book I'm going to look for Messerti. There it is. Now, I don't see the page number, unfortunately. <laughs> but here, make sure it's sharing. Yes, it is. Here you can see it says a wooden funerary model depicting Egyptian warriors from the tomb of Messerti. Meserti at Asyut, and it comes from so, the, so that's circa 2025 BC, you know, so that's you know, 4,000 years ago from the Egyptian Museum in Cairo. He did not say that they are Nubian, those are Nubians, he said that those are Egyptians. Okay, we have other, other books. I'm going to share that link in the chat. There you have it. Now that book, it's called Egypt by jo Joyce um, Tilsley. You see, Egypt. Joyce Tilsley. And if I go back, what do we have here? Now this time is page 38, you can see it. Page 38, introducing life in ancient Egypt. And here it is. You have a picture and it says, model a model army. These painted wooden soldiers were recovered from the Middle Kingdom, Asyut tomb of Meserti, 
the soldiers carry long shields and spears but have no armor doesn't say that they are nubians let's continue on this one so i can close that page next one i'm gonna share oh it looks like it's a long let me see how long is it no it's okay it will fit so you have that link in the chat again a photo record that book is called warfare in the ancient near east to 1600 bc by william j hambling now what does it say here uh, i don't have the page number <laughs> But it says the most striking example of this is the famous model soldiers from the tomb of Mesehti at Asyut, 9th Dynasty, circa 2156 to 2040. That would be BCE, you know, which are organizing which are organized into two companies of 40 men each the 40 egyptians are all armed with shield and spear while the 40 nubians carry bows and bundles of around four arrows so that's where you can tell the difference between the egyptians and the nubians the egyptians um have shields and spear the nubians have bow another book here you're gonna have the link in the chat there it is you have the link in the chat now for all purposes that book is ancient civilization by uh, chris scar Brian Fagan and Charles Golden. And here, hold on, I think I need to go up. Let me go back. Now, here it says. Nubian soldiers on the march in the tomb of Mesehti, a regional governor of Upper Egypt during the Middle Kingdom, circa 2000 BC, equipped with bows and wearing red lean, I'm sorry, loin cloths. Those tomb figures illustrate the employment of Nubian soldiers in Egyptian armies. So once again, you can tell the difference between the Nubians and the Egyptians. You know, because once, trust me, many people describe the ones that are shown you in the first place, which are Egyptians, and you have several PhDs who label them Egyptians, they will say that those are Nubians. Now, another two books, and then, you know, we can cut it a day. Now, I'm going to share that link in the chat. There it is, you have it there. Now, this book is Ancient Egypt by David P. Silverman, 2003. And here we have the same picture. And what does it say? It says 40 Egyptian soldiers equipped with spears and um, rawhide shields from the tomb of the monarch Mesehti at Asyut, 11th dynasty, circa 2000 BCE. We're doing scholarship. And last one. Share the link in the chat. have the link here now this book is ancient Egyptians people of the pyramids by Rosalie F Baker and Charles F Baker maybe they are related or a couple and what do we see here 
Uh, apparently, it's page 37. We have a black and white picture, what we've seen from the get go. And it says General Masehti commissioned his set of 40 miniature wooden Egyptian soldiers holding spears and shields made of hides to accompany him in the afterlife. So, what you need to remember. Is that those individuals just like they are described by the University of Manchester they are described by many other PhDs and different authors as Egyptians the Nubians are darker skin and the Nubians have a red color around the loin cloth the Nubians have bows the Egyptians have spears so once again, you have some depiction of black ancient Egyptians. All right. So that was 37 minutes. Thank you for listening. I'm going to have some rest. And I'm really looking forward <laughs> to my main channel being public again. I mean, I could make it public, but I want to wait. You know, you never know. I have two copyright strikes. It only takes three for you to lose your channel. So, hopefully, tomorrow will be okay. If not tomorrow, Saturday. But, you know, I will keep you updated. I'm really looking forward to it. These 10 working days, it, it felt like two months. <laughs> it felt like two months, trust me. You know? So, if some people want to learn the Madden Nature, I'm giving classes. When I will play the outro, you will hear some testimonials. Yes, tomorrow is public. LOL. We'll find out, you know. But I'm going to make my closing remarks. I have I have many videos showing black ancient Egyptians. You know, I've been to many museums around the years. But, you know, that's on my main channel, which is pri private now. So, you know, I'll be able to share again, you know, once it is public. So I'm going to thank you all, brothers and sisters. Stay safe, stay healthy. If I'm allowed to by the Necheru, I will definitely holler back at you. I don't argue, I state facts. If you're not part of the solution, you're part of the problem. If you do not think right, you will not act right. If you know better, you will do better. Do a do a to do a Necheru hotel. Now, for the record, for those who don't know, I'm giving Medu Necheru classes. And here, that's the flyer. Okay? So, those who are interested, feel free to holler at me. If you're not interested, it's cool. But I recommend everybody, I recommend that everybody who has not yet seen the video, Kemet and Ma'at, before Judaism, Christianity, and Islam, then watch it. It has about 300,000 views and really deserves to have a lot more. I just want to let everyone know who's gonna, who's, who's gonna, uh, who's listening now and who's going to listen to this, uh, this, uh, stream in the future. I just had a, my first Metanetia class by Brother Shaka today, and I've had other, uh, Metanetia lessons by other teachers, and I can tell you right now, the brother is the best in the game. He is, uh, that, that was one of the best classes I've ever had, ever. So if you're interested in learning the Meta Netcha, if you're interested in getting the basics of it, Brother Shaka is an awesome teacher. Get with him and it's extremely affordable. This brother is giving us his time and his skills and he's basically giving it away. I mean, I, you know, I just consider it a donation. You know what I'm saying? So if anybody is interested in learning the better nature, get with this brother right here. He's an awesome, awesome, awesome teacher. And I'll end with that. Hotep Senu, Hena Senut. This is Julie, also known as Servant of Yah. And I'm currently taking the Medu Nature classes with Brother Shaka. And it has been an amazing experience. Only two lessons so far, and I feel like um, I've been taking the classes for months just with the 
uh, how in depth he goes into the vocabulary words, um, the construction of the language, the grammar. Um, it's been immeasurable, um, the experience. And one thing that comes across hands down is his uh, extreme passion for teaching this to anyone who is willing to learn and has a, a, an interest in learning. So I highly suggest um, if you are interested, even a minimal interest, that uh, you subscribe to the classes with Brother Shaka. Um, it's such a nominal amount for how much you get. Uh, I know like our last class was uh, over two and a half hours. It felt like two minutes, but because that's how you know involved you are in what he's teaching and how he teaches and how compassionate he is about what he teaches. Um, also with sharing materials free of charge, uh, no question, no doubt. Um, it's just what he does. He doesn't have to, but he does. And so I just wanted to give a short testimonial um, about the class and the effectiveness of the class. And uh, all of that is attested to uh, how studied Brother Shaka is. Uh, so I highly recommend anyone with a minimal interest that you do sign up for the Medjunetia class. Hotep. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, which is Ma'at Forever. Don't forget to watch the video entitled Kemet and Ma'at. Don't forget to share Kemet and Ma'at for my channel on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp, or other social media that you use email, text messages, you name it. Those who wish to donate can do so on paypal.me slash maatforever.